Well, listen, you're our first uh, a a animal uh, handler or animal expert we've had on the show. Right? Thanks for being here. Thank you for having you, me. You have, you have an incredibly popular, over a billion views on your YouTube channel, Brave Wilderness. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Over 9 million subscribers. Um, thank you for dressing the part. This is, you know, I, woke, I wake up like this. I roll out of bed, literally, all I have to do is put on the hat, and I'm ready to go. Okay, maybe a little deodorant. <laughs> and you, I, I, I'm fascinated by some of the stuff you do on your show. Uh, one of the things you're doing, which I've always been fascinated with, is the Schmidt Sting Pain Index. Can you explain to the people what the Schmidt Sting Pain Index is? It's something that you never want to follow. Why I chose to follow this roadmap well, the YouTube audience loves it, but it was created by an entomologist named Justin Schmidt, right? Justin is fantastic, and he thought, well, let me get stung by things so I could rate the pain scale. Everybody wants to know, how bad does it feel when a bee stings you? Or, let's say, a tarantula hawk, or, of course, the bullet ant, which has become very famous. No, at this I've, point. I've heard about the bullet ant, yeah. that, he, that he said that he get bitten by a bullet ant, and it's just basically just, it's electric, just lay down, and, and there's nothing you can do until it's over. And you did it. Yeah. Yeah. Rough, that was a rough at the office. Okay, so we have a clip here of you uh, getting uh, bitten by the bullet ant, and uh, let's show it, and I'd like a little reaction from you afterwards. Jim? Two. Oh my gosh, this is it. Three. Oh, it's stuck in my arm! It's stuck in my arm! Stinger stuck in my arm, look at that! Go! Oh! Okay, it's off, it's off, it's off! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh! You are right? Oh my god, it is really bad! <laughs> okay. How long... How long does that last? Well, the stinger wasn't supposed to stick in my arm. It's like, sting, jump off, right? But no, the stinger actually got stuck in my arm, and the pain lasted 36 hours. Like it's that? It's that bad, guys. Like that? Like that. Did they have to strap you down? Uh, no. Fortunately, I had to walk myself up out of the rainforest to get back to our jungle hut, where I just had to endure the pain until it wore off. And do you... Now, in retrospect, do you think that was a good idea? <laughs> You know, at the time, it seemed like it because the YouTube audience, we worked our way up the insect sting pain index. So our, our audience, which we call the coyote pack, they're like, coyote, you have to get stung by the bullet ant. I couldn't let them down. So I was curious myself to say, how bad is the sting of an ant as compared to something like a tarantula hawk? Yeah. It's bad, guys. Justin was right. The bullet ant is the most painful sting in the world. Okay. He did it for the clicks. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so you got some uh, uh, you got some animals here. Yes. Let's take a look at. Let's let's take a look. See see what you got here. Right. Now there are some bullet ants just running around out there in the audience. Good. But that's okay, guys. Just fine. You'll keep be fine. your hands in your seat. You'll be just fine. All right. So the first thing we're bringing out. Thank you, Jungle Bob. Hi, buddy. Okay. Oh gosh. This big guy. Right. I'm just gonna set him down. Don't worry, you're totally fine there, Stephen. Okay. okay. There what we have go. we here? This is a Cuban rock iguana. Hello okay. there, handsome. How are you? Now, it's, is it from Cuba? Uh, it is. This is presidential how did it, status. How did it get Look past at this. the embargo? How did you know, it... he has his proper permits. That's what he needs. Can I, can I touch him? Absolutely. Well, it's, you know, touch and then ask. Is it whatever. him or her? It is a him. How do we know? Because the males get bigger than the females. See All that right. dominant posture that he sure. has there? Wow. Like wow. touching a dinosaur, Does right? He, and, he, and he's not going to bite me. I mean, he could, but they're not aggressive, right? <laughs> this guy, he's like, really, look not at aggressive. Him. he's like a little snuggler. Yeah, this is gorgeous. a very non-aggressive really, species. Really, really, is really beautiful. But he does look. I mean, my, my. Oh, okay. And you know, sometimes those are Kleenex, right? Good, excellent. You see, I would, I would rather he bit me. You, you see, All right, he knows so, what it takes to make a viral video. Sure, That's what he does. let's uh, let's move on.
You don't want to feed him some bananas? I don't. Okay. I think I think uh, I don't want to load him up again. You know, you know what? Wait till you see what we've got planned for you next. Okay, he's what's going on? What's uh, happening now? You know, that's that's what you call a little bit of uric acid. Yeah. He gets a little stage fright and he said, okay. you know what? This is Thank why you. we put a protective cover on, on top desk. of the desk. There you go. So that I can go to the bathroom on the desk. Fantastic. All right, big guy. That oh, was Lord. an incredible what do performance you? there. Thanks, big guy. Okay. Just the salmonella alone is going to oh, kill yeah. us, you realize. You take a couple Tylenol, you'll so, be fine in what the is, morning. What, what, is, what is this right there? Uh, now, I was told yes. that you were interested in being sung by a bullet in. I said, uh, I don't know if you want to do it on television. I did not say But you wanted to enter the bite zone. I wanted to do something that wasn't very painful, but I could right. get bit by Well, something. what we have here is the green anole. An arguably ol? one of the most dangerous lizards in the world. They can be found all throughout Florida, maybe even here in New York, because they oftentimes escape as people's pets, right? So, if you are brave enough, and I know that you are, you're actually going to be bitten by one of these anoles. You know what? I'm going to grab the big one. Okay. Come here, buddy. I don't here really... Lizards don't really bother me, but is it, is it going to hurt? Well, you know, that's, that's yet to be determined, because... How are you going to endure the pain? It's, it's all on you. You've got to mentally prepare yourself. Now, when I do this and I'm bitten and stung by things, I kind of walk and pace around behind the cameras before I actually go through with it, right? And we call our audience, like I said, the Coyote Pack, and you call your audience Colbert Nation, correct? That was the old show. I call these people just the, the most beautiful people in the world. That That's also right. works, too. <laughs> now, what you need to do is look right into the camera and you say, I'm Stephen Colbert, and I'm about to enter the bite zone with the green anole. I'm Stephen Colbert, and I'm about to enter the bite zone with the green anole? That's right. Anole. You ready? Now, don't move. Where are you going to put it on? I'm going to put it by your ear. The ear is the best place to be bitten by this one. The ear? The ear. Yeah, then it just kind of hangs there like a little earring. So don't move. All right, go ahead and zoom in, guys. Ready? <laughs> on YouTube. Coyote Peterson, everybody. We'll be right back.